Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Behind the Scenes of Searching For. If you want to see me put a joystick on the Minn Kota foot pedal, stay tuned. Hey, Dana here, and welcome to the Behind the Scenes of Searching For. Well, today, what I'm doing is I'm going to put a joystick, or a stick, so I can control my Minn Kota trolling motor from just sitting. And all I got to do is pull it to the left, pull it to the right, turn the directions that I want it. So I found me an old shovel dowel and I cut it off fairly long right now because I'm not sure exactly how much um, pressure I'm going to need to get it to uh, to function um, because of course you've been seeing me trying to move, maneuver the the uh, Elizabeth around by just squeezing by just squeezing it so um, now that I've got the handle on it now I can go ahead and put it back together and I should be able to function it left left and right like so next thing I got to get it so I can mount it so it's stable so when you when you're actually pulling on it, the whole thing doesn't move. So I've got a piece of three quarter inch plywood, and I cut it the size of the bottom of this. So now the trick was to get it mounted on here. So then I'll be able to mount this onto the the seat or the side by using industrial velcro is my is my go all right the only thing is when you go to mount it on anything so you hear the holes okay if you flip it over there's your little mounting holes that you don't mount it onto your deck so you can you know um actually i think those they might have been just rubber uh, rubber rubber mounts but Problem is, you have to take this completely apart <laughs> to get any screws through here. And unfortunately, on the other side of it, really can't, you really can't without, um, there's no way to really mount it. Um, but I don't think those were actually mounting. I think you just put that, put this down in a hole and then you're able to use your foot to do it so in my case what i'm doing is i'm gonna i drilled a hole right here and i got another hole over here and i know it's clear from where i'm at right so i drilled it drilled it through the plywood so i know where the holes are so then we'll go ahead and screw it into i'll put screws through into here and that'll hold that down but to put the joystick on here um, I had to drill a hole through the middle of this. And then the tricky part of it is you gotta put your you gotta put your springs through the bottom here. Right here. It's gonna come through here and then through the bottom. You got one right here. And then they go through the bottom, and that's how you get your that's how you get your flex back and forth. Okay, we're back. And I have that now screwed to the bottom of that and then I have my my solid piece of wood now screwed screwed to the bottom so I'll have full so I'll have full function you hear hey when you're at that point now you just it's you can you run your motor fast as you want you push it here now you push on this and then it's intermittent it's not a continuous like here it's not continuous you're going to push down and you're going to the motors the propeller is going to spin the speed that you have this set but it's intermittent you just push down and then you're doing that you don't have to have a continuous um, spin on it you just push it down and you're good right now it looks good. I can do it. I can. And then 
and then turn it. So I may just go ahead and put one here, and then I can just I can enjoy enjoy the speed if I just want to go forward a little bit. A little, put another put another dowel right here, so I can just push down instead of just continuous continuous trolling with this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And this is how I put a joystick on the Minn Kota foot pedal. Hey, Danny here. And welcome to Behind the Scenes of Searching For. What I'm doing right now is I was going to have the controller to my Minn Kota just clamp on the side right and now I can control it from here but I said well I'll get me a 70 pound magnet I'll go ahead and screw it to the bottom of this thing and I got a steel plate that I've had on here already and guess what Did I put this down? It ain't coming off. <laughs> Bam! Now I'm able to. Now I can control it left to right. No problem. I don't have to worry about taking it off of there. Not even in the middle. Dead in the middle now. All right. Now. I got the joystick, you can say joystick. Now I can control it just like so. Um, and then hand hand pull, and I can just push down on it when I want to manually control it. So that said, I'm not sure exactly where I'm at. It comes with it. I won't know until I get to the water. But what I can do is I, I'm not sure if I'm going there. If I go this, I go right to the uh, port side, or go this way to the starboard side. That's not the kit what I want, and that's that's what I want too. So I can spin it around, and then I want to go that way. I just pull it this way. If I want to go this way, go this way. I don't have to put my feet down on it. I don't have to clamp it anymore. I don't have to keep squeezing it with my hand sitting right here. So there we are. That takes care of that. And then when I'm ready to go home, pop it off, and we're done. Ah. So, and again, if I gotta if I gotta turn it around so we're facing the other other direction, I can be I can do that too. Now I can go right, I can go left. Or go right and then left. Port starboard. Okay, starboard's to your right. Ports to your left. Searching for.